Today we will count down the 10 weirdest things found in the ocean. From giant squids to sunken cities, these discoveries will blow your mind. Let's start! Number 10. Alien-looking creatures. One of the most striking features of deep-sea creatures is their transparency. Many lack pigment or have translucent bodies, allowing them to blend into the darkness and avoid detection by predators. This adaptation is particularly common among jellyfish, such as the barrel eye, which has a transparent head with light-emitting organs that allow it to see in the darkness. Other deep-sea dwellers have evolved bioluminescence, the ability to produce their own light. This adaptation serves a variety of purposes, from attracting prey to signaling to mates. The anglerfish, with its long, glowing lure, is a prime example of bioluminescence. The tube worm, dwelling in hydrothermal vents, relies on symbiotic bacteria to produce light, providing it with both food and a means of communication. The deep sea also harbors creatures with unusual appendages and body shapes. The giant isopod, a giant crustacean resembling a woodlouse, can reach up to three feet in length. The blobfish, with its gelatinous, misshapen body, has become an internet sensation due to its otherworldly appearance. These adaptations are often related to the deep sea's unique environment, such as the ability to catch prey, navigate in darkness, or withstand extreme pressure. Number 9. Lost Cities The ocean floor is a vast and largely unexplored repository of lost cities and artifacts. From the sunken metropolis of Alexandria to the fabled underwater temple of Yanaguni, these underwater cities offer a glimpse into the past and the connections between ancient cultures and the sea. Alexandria, once the capital of Egypt and a center of learning and trade, was submerged in a series of earthquakes and tsunamis in the 4th century AD. Underwater archaeologists have been able to map the city's streets, buildings, and harbor, providing valuable insights into its layout and architecture. Off the coast of Japan, the underwater Yanaguni Monument is a massive structure that has baffled scientists and archaeologists for decades. Some believe it is a natural formation, while others argue that it is the ruins of an ancient underwater city. The Mesoamerican Underwater Archaeology Project, MAR, has uncovered numerous submerged cities and temples in the waters off the coast of Mexico. These sites were once part of the thriving Mesoamerican civilizations, and their underwater discovery provides new perspectives on their history and culture. Number 8. Underwater Hot Springs The ocean floor is a realm of extremes, where pressure, temperature, and darkness can be overwhelming. Yet, amidst these harsh conditions, life flourishes in unexpected ways. Hydrothermal vents, chimney-like structures that spew superheated, mineral-rich water, are some of the most bizarre and fascinating ecosystems on Earth. These vents, located in areas with active volcanism, tap into the Earth's internal heat, bringing up water that can reach temperatures of up to 450 degrees Celsius. The mineral-rich water, rich in hydrogen sulfide and other compounds, provides a unique habitat for organisms that are adapted to these extreme conditions. One of the most striking features of hydrothermal vent communities is the presence of giant tube worms, reaching up to six feet in length. These filter feeders, devoid of eyes and mouths, rely on symbiotic bacteria living in their tissues to convert hydrogen sulfide into energy. Another remarkable denizen of hydrothermal vents is the vampire shrimp. These shrimp, with their elongated bodies and sharp pincers, prey on the tube worms, consuming their larvae and other small organisms. The vents also host a variety of clams, mussels, and snails, as well as countless crustaceans, worms, and fish. These organisms are all adapted to the extreme conditions, with some possessing specialized adaptations to filter out harmful substances or detoxify the water. Number 7. Blobfish. Often described as the ugliest fish in the world, the blobfish does not look like the typical fish you might see in a coral reef or aquarium. Found in the waters around Tasmania, Australia, and New Zealand at depths of 600 to 1,200 meters, blobfish are adapted to their deep-sea environment. Their gelatinous bodies and lack of scales allow them to withstand the extreme pressure and cold temperatures of their habitat. The blobfish's bulbous eyes, small mouth, and drooping face have earned its reputation as the world's ugliest fish. However, when brought to the surface, the pressure changes rapidly, causing the fish's body to expand and its features to become distorted. This is why you often see blobfish looking so weird in pictures. Despite its strange appearance, the blobfish plays an important role in the deep-sea ecosystem. 
It is a scavenger, feeding on dead fish and other organic matter that falls from the surface waters. The blobfish's gelatinous body makes it an efficient swimmer, helping it to move through the water and find its food. Unfortunately, the blobfish is threatened by human activities such as deep-sea fishing and pollution. When caught in fishing nets, blobfish are unable to survive the change in pressure and are often thrown back into the ocean dead. Pollution also threatens their habitat, as it can disrupt the food chain and make it difficult for the blobfish to find food. Number 6. Hairy Sea Cucumber Dwelling in the depths of the ocean, the hairy sea cucumber is an enigmatic creature, its appearance defying all expectations. Covered in what resembles a luxurious mane of hair, this marine invertebrate is a master of filtration, its delicate bristles trapping food particles as it sways gently in the currents. While its hairy coat may initially evoke a sense of unease, it serves as a crucial adaptation for survival in the harsh depths it calls home. The hairy sea cucumber's bristles, microscopically fine and numerous, act as a highly efficient filtering mechanism. As the creature moves through the water, the bristles trap plankton, detritus, and other microscopic organisms, providing a rich source of nutrients. This unique feeding strategy allows the hairy sea cucumber to thrive in environments where food is scarce. Beyond its filtration prowess, the hairy sea cucumber possesses an array of adaptations that enable it to survive in the deep sea. Its body is elongated and flattened, maximizing its surface area for nutrient absorption. Its flesh contains a high concentration of guanine, a substance that reflects light, making the creature less visible to potential predators. Additionally, the hairy sea cucumber can eject its internal organs as a defense mechanism, a surprising strategy that serves to deter and confuse predators. Number 5. Vampire Squid The vampire squid is a small, deep-sea cephalopod that is found in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. It is named after its jet-black body and retractable hooks on its arms, which it uses to latch onto prey and suck their blood. The vampire squid also has a bioluminescent cloak that it uses to camouflage itself in the darkness of the deep ocean. The vampire squid is a filter feeder that eats plankton and other small organisms. It does not actually suck blood, but it does have a sharp beak that it uses to pierce its prey and suck out the fluids. The vampire squid's blood is green, which is a result of the presence of chlorophyll found in the plankton it eats. The vampire squid's bioluminescent cloak is made up of millions of tiny light organs called photophores. The photophores can be turned on and off at will, allowing the vampire squid to camouflage itself in its environment. This allows the vampire squid to avoid predators and sneak up on its prey. The vampire squid is a fascinating creature that is still relatively unknown to scientists. More research is needed to learn more about its biology and behavior. Number 4. Walking Sharks In the vast expanse of the ocean, where life teems in the depths and along the shores, there exists a creature that defies conventional understanding, the walking shark. This peculiar species, belonging to the six-gill shark family Hemicellulidae, has evolved the remarkable ability to traverse the seabed on its powerful pectoral fins, leaving behind an unsettling trail of footprints that evoke images of prehistoric marine reptiles. Found in shallow tropical waters around Australia, Indonesia, and Papua New Guinea, walking sharks are relatively small, reaching up to three feet in length. Their gray or brown bodies are adorned with dark spots and stripes, resembling a camouflage pattern that blends seamlessly with the sandy substrates they inhabit. The adaptability of walking sharks is attributed to their unique fin structure. Unlike their streamlined cousins, walking sharks possess thick, muscular pectoral fins that are more akin to legs. These fins are not only used for propulsion but also for support, enabling them to lift their bodies off the seabed and walk short distances. This peculiar behavior is believed to have evolved as a survival mechanism, allowing walking sharks to escape the clutches of low-oxygen tide pools and reach prey that other sharks cannot. Their ability to tolerate periods of reduced oxygen further enhances their resilience in these challenging environments. Number 3. Hand of God Reef Off the coast of Florida lies a stunning coral formation resembling a giant hand reaching from the seafloor. This natural wonder, sculpted by currents and tides, draws divers and marine biologists alike. The Hand of God Reef is located about 10 miles 16 kilometers off the coast of Naples, Florida, in the Gulf of Mexico. It is a popular diving spot, and the hand-like formation is visible from the surface of the water. The reef was formed over thousands of years by the accumulation of coral skeletons and the action of waves and currents. 
The shape of the hand is thought to be the result of erosion and deposition of sediment. Divers can explore the reef and see a variety of marine life, including coral, fish, and invertebrates. The reef is home to a variety of fish species, including angelfish, parrotfish, and butterfly fish. There are also a number of invertebrates that live on the reef, such as crabs, shrimp, and lobsters. Divers can also see a variety of coral species, including brain coral, elkhorn coral, and branching coral. The ham-like formation is a popular photo opportunity for divers. The reef is located in an area with good visibility, making it easy to see the details of the hand. The reef is also relatively shallow, making it accessible to divers of all levels of experience. Number 2. Glass Sponge Cities Deep in the ocean's twilight zone, where sunlight barely reaches, rise magnificent underwater cities unlike anything found on land. These aren't built of concrete and steel, but of glass, glass spun by the delicate bodies of glass sponges. These remarkable creatures, with skeletons formed from millions of needle-like silica spicules, weave intricate structures that resemble towering skyscrapers, intricate domes, and even delicate lace. These shimmering cities can stretch for meters, providing homes for a dazzling array of marine life. From tiny shrimp to lumbering sea cucumbers, hundreds of species find shelter and food within the sponge's porous walls, creating a thriving underwater metropolis. The glass sponge's unique anatomy is key to its city-building prowess. The spicules not only provide structural support, but also filter water, trapping food particles and oxygen for the sponge and its residents. This intricate filtration system helps maintain a healthy ecosystem within the sponge city, attracting even more marine life. By studying these living glass towers, scientists hope to gain insights into sustainable building design and biomimicry, inspiring new ways to create structures that are both functional and ecologically friendly. Number 1. Giant Isopod Among the ocean's depths, where light struggles to penetrate and life adapts to extreme conditions, dwell the giant isopods. These enigmatic crustaceans, distant relatives of the common woodlouse, have captured the imaginations of explorers and scientists with their monstrous size and prehistoric appearance. Reaching up to 30 centimeters in length, they are the largest members of the isopoda order, known for their flattened bodies, segmented exoskeletons, and multiple pairs of legs. Their home is the Bathiel Zone, a twilight realm between 1,000 and 4,000 meters below sea level. Here, the pressure is immense, temperatures hover near freezing, and food is scarce. To survive in this harsh environment, giant isopods have evolved remarkable adaptations. Their thick, armored bodies protect them from the crushing pressure, while their numerous, stout legs allow them to navigate the muddy seafloor efficiently. Their diet consists mainly of carrion, scavenging on dead fish and invertebrates that drift down from the surface waters. Their oversized claws, resembling pincers, are powerful tools for breaking down and consuming these carcasses. Their lack of eyes, a result of the perpetual darkness, is compensated for by highly sensitive antennae that detect even the faintest vibrations, allowing them to locate food sources. The giant isopods' resemblance to prehistoric creatures has fueled their fascination among marine biologists and the public. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel to be informed about new videos.